Hello my friends, today I'm going to cover three of the most common mistakes people make when doing Hindu squats. The first mistake is the easiest to make, and that is to pull your arms in, but out. <laughs> Pulling the arms in would look this way. Pulling my elbows in close into a fighting position. A wrestling position, a boxing position, an MMA position, a martial position. This is not it. Elbows out? Nah. It's not even a good athletic position. It's always about keeping the arms in close to the body. So as, I, as my arms raise and come up, I pull the elbows in and then they're coming behind me and go back. Now, the key thing to remember here is I give you a little bit of slack. You're getting into a groove, you're done 50 in a row, 100 in a row, and your elbows are out this far. That's fine. They're this close, really, really good. They're out this far, not good at all. Bad. So if I start from the down position and I come up, boom. This is where I am. Down, boom, boom, boom. That's the first mistake. Make sure you get the elbows in. Do not want them out. You don't want them getting chopped off. Pull them in. The second mistake is a simple one that I've never gone over with anybody before, but today I'll give it to you. And it's almost tied into, directly tied into the first mistake. So you might have already seen what the second mistake is and taken note of it. If you have, you're a genius. All right. So here, you think of combat again. I'm wrestling, I'm MMA, any kind of fighting. I, my hands are here, my elbows are in. And what do I do? I push and I pull push and I pull. So what's going on in this Hindu squat is I'm not just bringing my elbows back with limpy, flaccid, slinky hands. I want to actually bring some tension into the hands as I pull back, imagining I'm grabbing somebody and pulling them in. See, then they relax. They relax and go behind. Pull, relax. Pull, relax, pull, relax, pull, relax. Not here, and not, see how my hands are here? Not good. Pull, pull. So you're actually getting a little bit of a grip workout in there, especially if you activate the imagination. <laughs> the third mistake has to do with the squat itself. So the first two mistakes I gave you were the arm movements. Very important. But the next part of this is the speed at which you lower yourself. And again, think as though you're a combat man or a combat woman. you got to be able to change levels quickly. So if you're always doing squats, and going down slowly, and then oh, I'm doing my squats, I'm doing my squats. As a warm up, the first 25 or so, this is fine. But once you get loose, you need to stop doing them this way, the slow way, and you want to do them in the relaxation drop method. What this means is, when I have pulled my hands back and then I immediately relax them, and I'm going behind my back, I've got to just let my body drop. Same way if my arm drops. See? Some people, they can't do this, this exercise. They can't just, they'll go. Set up. So the same thing is happening now with the lower half. Here. Drop. 
take somebody's in front of me. I want to take him down, her down. Boom! I got to drop, and I got to drop quickly. See? So if one leg was staggered, I'd be able to do this very quickly, very quickly. I'd be able to just drop, totally relax and just drop, totally relax and just drop. So now we're doing it from a square stance. Same idea, drop. And then from there, you can lunge into the person and you have the legs. It's not about that kind of form. Now there are squats I teach that are done in slow motion, but they're totally different. They're done in super slow motion. They're not done at this slow pace because you want to make sure that your form is correct. No, you want to drop. When you drop now, the only other thing here would be mistake four. Not the only other thing, but one of the other things is do not let your torso come forward this way. You drop. You're almost straight back. And from here, you can dive in and get the legs. This is re really important. So when you put all three of these together, you have elbows in. Pull the hands in. Drop. Okay? Drop. 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 Now, another idea that I'll co I've covered in previous videos on Hindu squats is this idea that you bounce out of the bottom. No, you do not. You spring out of the bottom. I've covered that in a previous video. Make sure you go look at my other videos on Hindu squats and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've got it. A ton of info just on every one of these exercises there are details upon details and as soon as you think you know it all you find out you don't there you have it my friends another as kicking video you want to hear from me more you want to see the plethora of products and services that I have to offer make sure you visit my homepage mattfury.com in addition to that, you want more of this mindset? You want this championship think? Well, then you go to psycho-cybernetics.com. Another one of my websites that's having influence in a positive way all over the world. That's it for this video, my friends. Remember, the mantra, kick ass.